hello everyone i feel like i haven't filmed a video like this in so long um but welcome back if you're new to the channel hi my name is jordan i'm the creator and founder of chill bake camera co and if you've seen my face before welcome back so as you can tell by the title today we're talking about candle science's new spring and summer scents for 2024 i do have the entire collection here there's i believe 12 cents yeah i just thought i'd give them a try tell you my thoughts just in case you were on the fence about some things and I have my laptop open here so we can go over scent notes after I smell them and stuff. Wait, if you've seen these videos before you know how this happens. Okay, let's just get into it. Okay, the first one is Forest Chai. I don't really know how this is going to smell like spring or summer but we'll see because to me like forest and chai is more of like a, a fall winter type of scent. Um, if you can hear some buzzing, it's just the refrigerator. Please ignore it. Yeah. And now Shatsy's drinking water. <laughs> Hello, sir. Anyway, um, yeah, this, I'm a little confused as to why this is a part of the spring and summer collection. It smells very seasonal, like fall, like winter. It does smell like forest. It smells like chai, although there's like a... Oh kind of a soapy element. Maybe that's the pine. This smells good. I just don't know how this is spring or summer related. Yeah. So scent notes of this one, orange peel, peppercorn, cardamom, ginger. I get the ginger, anise, nutmeg, fir, cinnamon, and honey. I get the fir. I do get the honey actually. It doesn't seem incredibly spicy for something that has peppercorn, nutmeg, cinnamon, ginger. Like there's spice to it, but it's not, I don't know. Again, this just doesn't seem like a spring or summer scent, but if you're looking for a good fall winter scent, it's not overly fall, it's not overly like Christmassy or wintry. Um, I think it's, this is a good scent for fall and winter. Pink watermelon lemonade. I feel like this is gonna be good. I'm correct. Mmm. So you get the lemonade. Definitely get watermelon. There's something else, something like a little deeper. What is that? Ah, it's got strawberry, pineapple, and gardenia in it. Yeah, this is like sitting outside in your yard. Maybe you have like a little flower garden over there, but you're just drinking your pink, wa pink watermelon lemonade. And you just get like the hints, like the little wafts of floral. That definitely smells really good. I think um, Flaming Candle has a pink lemonade or a watermelon lemonade. Um, this smells a little bit different, but these are quite similar. This one just has the floral notes to it. So again, this is watermelon, lemon, green leaves, strawberry, pineapple, gardenia, sugar, and vanilla. You're not really getting any of the sugar. Maybe like the smallest hint of vanilla, but it's definitely more on the watermelon, lemon, strawberry, like the fruity scents. This is really nice. This is a really good summer scent for sure. Next, we have Orange Creamsicle. I love the smell of Orange Creamsicle, so I hope this one doesn't disappoint. I think I have oil on this hand. Yeah. Um, okay. It's like almost there. Definitely get like the Orange Creamsicle vibes. Maybe this smells different when you light it in a candle. Maybe it's because like smelling the oil straight seems a little strong but like the orange it's almost like the smell of like orange peel because there's something like the smell of orange is really citrusy and like citrusy citrusy and bright whereas this one the orange smell kind of feel it kind of feels like heavy i'm not getting that much cream from it it's nice, but I don't love it. So it's orange, sugar, vanilla, and marshmallow. I don't know if I get the marshmallow. Maybe the smell of sugar is what kind of makes it seem a little heavy. I mean, it's not bad. It's just not my favorite. Again, it just seems a little heavy, but if you like orange creamsicles, then this could be, this could be for you. Next we have Sun Washed. This one just sounds really nice. To me, it just sounds like, just like, yeah, sitting in the sun, I guess. <laughs> kind of obvious, isn't it? Ooh. Okay, this is, I thought that, like, when I think of sun washed, I think of, like, 
like reds and yellows and oranges. This is very, okay, this is gonna sound really weird, but if I had to give this scent a color, it would be blue. They're just, I don't know, it's, I don't know. But it smells like, like fresh air. There's some sort of floral note in it. And like, I feel like I'm getting a hint of like salt, like a salty air. There's some, it's close to like an ocean breeze type scent. I feel like, but there's just like a slight difference. It smells really good. It's just not what I was expecting. Let's see, it's petty green? I don't know what that is. Orange, grapefruit, cotton blossom, coconut, musk, wood, powder. Okay, so I was wrong about all of it. <laughs> okay, maybe I get like woody notes now. I don't get the orange or the grapefruit. I don't know what petty grain is. It smells good though. It's a fresh scent. It smells like in between spring and summer. It doesn't smell very summery, but it's not spring either. It's like that perfect in between. Yeah, it smells good. It smells really good. It's just not what I was expecting. Azure, Azure, Azure Coast. I'm going to assume this one smells like watery, like maybe beachy, maybe some florals, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, this is like a watery scent, slightly floral, a hint of salt, like salty air. Yeah, this one's nice. This would be good in like a soap. That's the kind of vibe it's giving me. Um, I don't know if I would use this for a candle. Maybe I would, maybe in the right setting. It smells really good though. It's nice and fresh. It smells clean. Let's see, it's, oh, interesting, oh, okay. Marine, so that's like the watery scent. Honeydew melon. Now I'm smelling the honeydew melon. Um, apple, okay, I can kind of get that. Lily of the Valley, jasmine, and sandalwood and musk. Not really getting the musk, I'll be honest. But looking at the other, like the scent list, or the list of scent notes, it's making a lot more sense now. It definitely smells like marine and honeydew melon with like a hint of Lily of the Valley. Maybe not so much jasmine, but it smells really nice. And then slightly get the whiff of apple. Yeah, this one smells really nice. Again, it's like a, this is definitely a summer scent because it's got that like beachy vibe, but not like the tropical beach. But it smells really good, nice and fresh. Okay, next up we have vanilla orchid. Obviously I'm thinking this is gonna smell like vanilla and orchids. I don't really know how those two combine, but okay, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Mmm. Like sometimes when things are like a scent and vanilla, the vanilla really takes over. This one doesn't. This is like the perfect blend of orchid and vanilla. It's very soft, a very feminine scent, but it's not, there's something like creamy or like milky about it. Cause it just like, it smells smooth. Mmm, that smells really good. Maybe there's like a hint of like sugar in there too. This is, this is a really nice one. Um, let's see here, it is, oh, interesting. So top notes are orange and green leaves. I'm not, well, okay. I don't know if maybe I'm just like playing tricks with my own mind, but okay. So top orange and green leaves. Middle is jasmine and heliotrope. I have no idea what that is. And then base is sandalwood, musk, and vanilla. Funny how it's called vanilla orchid, but there's no orchid in it. Unless heliotrope is a word for orchid, or like it's scientific name, I don't know. I'm definitely getting the vanilla, the sandalwood, and the floral. Maybe just like a whisper of orange. But that, yeah. <sighs> That's, that's really nice. This is another one that I was kind of confused as to why it was in the spring summer collection, but that is spiced oat milk. To me, this seems like a chilly weather type of scent, but yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this, maybe because it's spicy, I just automatically think of like fall, winter. 
this in no way, shape or form feels like spring or summer. I'll tell you that. I'm not someone who generally likes really spicy scents. This one is definitely spicy. I don't love it. I don't hate it. But then again, I'm just not like a spicy scent kind of girly. But if you do like spicy scents, then you'll like this one. Honestly, all I could tell, like all I could smell was like spice and I can't even tell you which one it is. Maybe like nutmeg. Um, I do get hints of cream, which if it's spiced oat milk, um, then that would make sense, but let's see. Cinnamon lemon peel, which I'm not getting any of that. Um, oat, brown sugar, molasses, milk, musk, and praline. Maybe I'm getting a bit of the praline. I get the milk, maybe the oat, but I'm definitely getting the cinnamon, the brown sugar, and the molasses. The scent has some weight to it. Um, not a big fan. Um, and again, I don't know why this was in the spring summer collection, but okay. This one I saw online and I was so eager to try it because I was like, I have no idea what that's supposed to smell like. Um, but it's olive leaf and citron. Citron? Citron. I don't know. But olive leaf and like olive oil. I don't know. Okay, hold on. Okay, this, this is definitely a green scent. Ooh, this could be a very polarizing one. It's very green. I have a tomato leaf candle, which is also like a very green scent. And that one, people either love it or they hate it. I think that is what this one will be. But it smells like lemon, but also like olive oil. <laughs> And definitely like green leaves. It's odd, but I really like it. This one I think would be a really good kitchen scent. When I smell it, I think of like I close my eyes and I think of like being in a house in the Mediterranean with the windows open and like the sheer curtains flowing. That's what this smells like to me. So top notes are bergamot, marine, and lemon. I'm definitely getting the marine and lemon. Middle is grass rose, olive, and green leaves. Yeah, so the middle note is, it's very, like I said, green. Base is wood and musk. Okay, I could see how there's wood in that one. This is definitely a weird one, but I love it. This one is bohemian rose. I feel like this is just gonna smell like rose. It's rose, but like a watery rose. Yeah, this one smells like rose, but like a really pretty rose. It's not like your grandma's type of rose scent. This one definitely seems like a younger, like brighter type of rose. I don't really know if, I know there's different types of roses, so maybe they all just smell different. Um, but yeah, this one's definitely rose, but again, younger, fresh. It's nice, it's pretty. Okay, so I wasn't expecting these top notes, which are basil and grapefruit. I'm not getting that at all. And then the middle notes are rose and magnolia. And then the base is patchouli. It's pretty. It's rose. Yeah, it's just not your grandma's kind of rose. This is definitely a really pretty spring scent. I like that one. The next one is golden hour. So golden hour, sun washed, I'm thinking like, oh, it's, you know, middle of the day. Golden hour, I'm expecting it to be, it's like moodier side because it's, you know, the sun's going down golden hour, or maybe it's the morning golden hour, I don't know. Again, when I think of what this smells like or should smell like, I'm getting like yellows and oranges. I don't know, it's weird. Ooh, there's something almost sunscreeny about it, but like kind of smells like the beach at the end of the day. That's nice. There's definitely floral notes, but they're light. It smells airy, it's fresh. Again, slightly salty. I don't know why I keep smelling things that I'm like, oh, that's gotta be salty. <sighs> that smells really good. Okay, orange, bergamot, coconut, gardenia, musk, amber, and vanilla. So I'm definitely picking up on the gardenia and the coconut. Maybe a little bit of the musk, or like the amber. Yeah, this is nice. I like that. Well done. Okay, the next one is called Coastal Cottage. I'm just going to assume this smells like the coast. 
very watery, marine, maybe some like whispers of florals or like greens. This one's really difficult. It's, it's just watery and fresh. Let's see. Bergamot, sea salt, peony, mint, juniper, light musk, and marine. Yeah, this is just a really pretty watery scent. Like, I just find it hard with all the like coastal and beachy ones. To me, the coastal ones kind of all give off the same vibe. Yeah, it's just like a really light scent. I didn't do a very good job at explaining this one. It smells good though. Last but certainly not least is tulip fields. Definitely a spring scent. I'm going to assume it smells like tulips. Correct. It's like really strong tulip. Ooh, but it smells good. Definitely uh, would be careful with this one because it's strong. Yeah, it's very strong. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit of a headache, but it could be because I've just smelled 12 in a row. But um, Tulip Fields is really nice. I just think I would make sure I like put less in my candles than I usually would because I think this one is gonna be really, really strong in a candle. Yeah, but this, it's obviously floral. It smells like tulips. It smells fresh, green, with like, yeah, it smells good. Um, again, I just wouldn't use a whole lot of it in a candle, but let's see what the scent notes are. Top, peach, palm, peony, tulip, green leaves, and musk. So yeah, it's a very florally scent. I don't know if I got any of the peach or the palm notes, but um, yeah, it smells great. Okay, so that was the Candle Science Spring Summer 2024 collection. Um, I hope I did an all right job at giving you my thoughts and describing them. The next one I'm gonna do, I already have it lined up, um, is the Flaming Candle Spring and Summer scent. So I'm excited to bring that to you as well um, because spring is almost here, which means summer is after, which means we gotta get ready already. Ready already. What am I saying? I don't know, but thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Um, if you're not subscribed already, feel free to do so. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.